first of all I'm sorry about the lighting it is literally 4 19 and it's nearly pitch black outside and because I don't have any lights of my own other than the sun or this light above me which is my bedroom light which isn't very good because the shade the lampshade like as you can see like here there's like a line where the lampshade stops so above it is darkness so it's not great lighting today i am going to be doing a q and a as i haven't done one in a very long time so i thought i would keep you keep you up to date catch you up to date on my life and answer some questions you have asked me is top four all-time favorite christmas films in no particular order i would say elf the polar express I've watched this one called Santa's Little Yelpers. It's about these little dogs that help Santa. And the fourth one would probably be Snow Paws. I think that's a Christmas film. It's once again a dog one. Because when I was little, and I still like dogs, but not as much as I used to, even though I have a dog don't tell Arch. Okay, what are your Christmas traditions? Um, to be honest, our family don't really have any traditions. Um, I would have liked to go to the Christmas light switch on in my city. <laughs> England is my city. This year, but I didn't get the chance to. Um, but I have been, like last year, I think there's a video about it. I'll link it below if I can find it. Um, but yeah, other than that, we don't really have any traditions, we don't really, I don't know, we're a bit boring when it comes to Christmas, <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. Have you started Christmas shopping? Let me, I feel like Santa, I've got it, dream on, dreamer, oh, I didn't actually know what that bag said, I just went, can I have the blue one please, um, even though it's not really blue, it's more like purpley blue indigo i like pick one and there was like 10 bags and i was like i don't know the blue one um so yeah i have started christmas shopping and yeah i've wrapped everything and i'm very excited next one favorite thing about winter maybe to like i would say layer up like an onion i do like wearing a big coat and it's all cozy i do like it when it snows because i think it's really pretty but i don't think we're gonna have snow this year it doesn't look like it but it's just very cold but england's cold anyway so <laughs> who knows what's on cardigan close road trip wear on cardigan close but um that is a new series i did um there's five parts to it and it's about every time i went to go see road trip a boy band on cardigan close where they used to live and yeah i just explained about what happened on the vlogs that i filmed and what happened off the vlogs and things like that if you want to go check it out you can go do that i'm gonna make a playlist what do you usually do on christmas day well last year i was happily asleep my brother came in and threw a pillow at me. I swear he threw a pillow at me. He threw something at me that was soft, not like <laughs> froze a chair. No, he threw something at me at like five o'clock in the morning and was like, wake up, it's Christmas. Bearing in mind, my brother is much older than me. He gets way more excited than I do on Christmas day. I like my sleep, but he gets way too excited and then we all kind of gather into our mum's room and open our little stockings that we have outside our doors it's really cute i'm really excited for christmas will joe ever be in a video if you don't know who joe is he is my friend from high school we did videos ages ago where me and him went to birmingham i made him get his eyebrows done and he painted my nails <laughs> joe's a great person and i'm sure he'll be in a video soon how's arch arch is great if you don't know who arch is he's my dog he is a king charles spaniel or cavalier king charles spaniel if you want the long name um i would show you him here but he's somewhere downstairs so i can't but yes he is fine do you shampoo and don't condition or condition and don't shampoo 
I actually shampoo and don't condition because I feel like when I used to condition my hair it used to get greasy way faster than if I just shampooed it so I just shampoo it now sometimes I condition like the ends um but I rarely condition my hair but I've never known anybody to condition it and not shampoo it I'll be interested to see if anybody out there does condition and not shampoo your hair do you watch Riverdale I do and I bloody love it <laughs> It is so good. I thought when season three came around and it's a bit more supernatural, I thought, oh, this is going to either go really well and it will still link to the whole theme of Riverdale and the whole storyline or it's going to go really bad. It's just gone the mid-season finale and wow, I'm excited. I'm exciting i'm enjoying it there was some episodes where i was like mm, not big of a fan um but this mid-season finale i feel like has tied a lot of things together that didn't make sense so well done riverdale you've done it good and the last and final question i need to stop clapping that's not a question that's just a thought in my head because i keep on going like i can make a song with clapping if anybody needs somebody to clap in their band um i'm your girl hit me up <laughs> are you dating anyone out of road trip i am not dating anybody out of road trip even though they're all lovely boys and i love them very much but no i am not dating any of them to answer your question <laughs> That was the last question. I hope you enjoyed this q and I hope it was eventful, insightful, if that's the right word to use. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have learnt something new about me. <laughs> I don't know. I'll probably be making a what I got for Christmas and what I got for ber my birthday. Um, I may vlog when I go to London in the near my birthday because my birthday is on the 31st of December. I just clapped again. I need to stop it. Watch out for those vlogs. If you're new, hi, I'm Steph. Please subscribe if you haven't already. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you very soon. Bye! When there's a hole between for you in the dark, you should know you're